And hello teachers and good afternoon. Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat who are here and uh, tuning in to our Saturday live stream as usual no. Um ating uh, Saturday habit no. And again maraming salamat no kasi as we always tell you uh, how we appreciate your time with us no. Okay? Because we know it's a Saturday and we're supposed to be resting no after a full week of um tons of work no especially for our uh, teachers from the public school um public schools okay, who are now transitioning back to an uh, face to face setup no uh, and dami mga preparations uh, readjustments realignments um so again maraming maraming salamat no for always attending our session sabi nga ni teacher Jeffrey Beltran no kahit may ginagawa uh, ano pa rin tune in pa rin at hindi kumpleto ang Saturday no pag wala ang ating kaagapay teacher support sessions okay so thank you so much um teachers no okay, for um for joining us for today so very very special Uh, session for today okay because we have a very um new no and uh, interesting tool for today na kahit ako no hindi ko pa rin siya masyado na explore pero nakita natin siya last uh, June series natin here at Kaagapay Teacher Support at ang daming nag-request about it no uh, na gusto nilang explore uh, more sessions about it eto na ngayon teachers last time may kahati ito no 30 minutes lang na share itong session at the session ngayon okay but today we're going to have a full session okay for this particular tool for today okay so uh before we start no uh we'd like to first uh, greet uh, our teachers in the chat okay uh, let me first greet um our teachers who are as early as 12:21 pm nandito na po sa ating chat box no teacher alex um uh, javier alvarez Okay, sorry for that na no, teachers no, so again let's first greet our teachers in the chat no uh, teacher Alex Javier Alvarez okay, teacher Marin Francisco teacher Rosita Balios teacher Imelda Publico good afternoon no? teacher Gemma Rivera teacher uh, D uh, Edward Awas teacher Lamberto Pilatan teacher Tina Datu teacher Maria Victoria Ramirez teacher Christine Del Mundo teacher uh, Andy Padernelia uh, teacher Jesus Uh, Katangi, uh, Teacher Christine Del Mundo, um, Teacher Berna Bernadette Irma Cabalia, Teacher Charisse Lobiano, Miss Janine, okay, kinukompleto talaga ni Miss Janine ng series natin, no? Teacher Richard Sapico, Teacher Robina Valleser, and of course, we'll stop at Teacher Mary Grace Castillo. No? So again, maraming maraming salamat. For those na hindi ko po personally nag-greet at na-mention ang inyong mga names, Uh, good afternoon to all of you. No? Okay, so once again, okay, for today, uh, we'll be tackling once again, no, this is still part of our Microsoft series, no, our April series, at nasa pang lima pa lang po tayo, meron pa tayong dalawang last two sessions for our se uh, for our April series. Pero for today, meron lang tayong dedicated time no, to explore Microsoft SharePoint. At huwag na nating patagalin because I'd like now to introduce no, okay, um, our speaker for today who will be our speaker and trainer for today who will be walking us through no uh, in discovering and understanding better ano nga ba itong Microsoft SharePoint na hindi malamang hindi mo siya na explore pero napaka powerful tool okay so i'd like to first uh, introduce okay, our speaker for today okay our speaker for today is Ms. Michelle Lasam okay Microsoft line of business operations manager from Radenta Technologies Incorporated certified in Microsoft 365 fundamentals a Microsoft certified educator and a Microsoft Innovative Educator Trainer. He leads Radenta in their efforts to transform schools and universities towards digitalization. Radenta is a gold partner of Microsoft and a participant of the Global Training Partner Program. Let us welcome into our stream for today, Ms. Michelle. Ms. Michelle, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, teachers. Good afternoon, Sir Franco. Yeah, and welcome po sa ating uh, stream um, uh, sa ating community no, Miss Michelle. Okay, so Miss Michelle, siguro before tayo mag-start ng ating uh, session ngayon, alam ko po excited na mga teachers natin. Nakita niyo naman po no, as early as um 12:21 PM no. Okay, kanina pa sila naghihintay dito sa ating uh, live stream, okay? 
excited na excited sila and I can tell you Miss Michelle no kung gaano sila uh, ka excited matutunan pa or makilala actually um yung Microsoft SharePoint kasi talaga medyo bago to no sa aming uh, sa sa community namin. Okay, pero siguro Miss Michelle bago tayo mag-start um can we ask first no ano nga ba i cover natin for today no what are aspects no of um this uh, interesting tool uh, or for our session that you will be covering for today. All right. So, Sir Franco, thank you so much for this opportunity, by the way, to be able to present uh, SharePoint to your um, organization, to your group, rather. Um, so, I know that you have a lot of different uh, teachers from different schools in this organization or in this um, support group. And so, for today, we will be discussing um, SharePoint, how it relates to Microsoft Teams. Um, we will. I will be showing you how to um, create a SharePoint site, how it how it will help you in your schools um, to use this tool in educating your students, and as well as um, how it also relates to Microsoft Lists. Although I know Sir Franco has already done a tutorial for Microsoft Lists. <laughs> Yes, no. Marami, maraming salamat Miss Michelle no. So teachers no, abangan natin because our uh, Microsoft Kits for for this session will actually be about no, ano yung ide-demo ni Miss Michelle uh, later on. Okay? So you will all be asked to also create your own SharePoint sites later on no, uh, as part of our distribution yung ating contest for Microsoft Kits. So makinig mabuti, alam mo mabuti, tingnan mabuti and uh, magtanong kung kailangan kay Miss Michelle no pag uh, during our uh, session. Okay, so uh, before I give the floor to Miss Michelle, and while Miss Michelle is preparing her presentation, okay, I'll also uh, like to uh, remind everyone that you are uh, this is a certified session. Okay, so please make sure that you accomplish the evaluation link after our session. Okay, and that's the only way you can get your certificates now for this session. Okay, so Miss Michelle, good luck on the session. Uh, teachers, enjoy the session. We'll be in the chat. We'll be engaging with you, you know, uh, all throughout our session. Ms. Michelle, your presentation is ready on the screen. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, so again, good afternoon, teachers. Um, happy Saturday to everyone. Napaka uh, sipag naman po ng mga teachers natin dito sa support group na to. Kahit weekend talagang we are taking time to learn uh, the technologies that you can use to help you and your students. Um, learn better, uh, especially ngayon na nagkaroon na tayo ng uh, sense of uh, a hybrid and an online schooling. No? So today we will be discussing uh, Microsoft SharePoint. So in this session, you will learn the relationship between SharePoint and Teams. So by understanding how they work together, you can save time and automate routinary activities. So, hindi na po paulit-ulit yung inyong mga activities when it comes to your classes. And you will be able to learn or you will learn how to write web pages with SharePoint. So, you can also create beautiful web pages in minutes with uh, templates. And I will show you um, where you can get those templates from. And then third is create a list in SharePoint. And fourth would be learning about document libraries. Okay. But first of all, what is Microsoft SharePoint? So SharePoint is an application within the Office 365 suite that many use daily without even realizing it. So each time a document is accessed in Microsoft Teams, um, it's pulling from SharePoint. So every Teams channel has a corresponding SharePoint theme site. So kung uh, kayo po ay familiar with Teams, so there are Teams and then there are channels under each team. So say for example, your uh, school or you are using Teams in your class, then every channel that you will create for that team will have its corresponding team site okay, or a team's channel. So when you're opening the files tab in a team, 
the view is actually a SharePoint document library. So it goes to a document library within SharePoint. Okay. So if you notice uh, in one of the buttons available in Teams, it says they're open in SharePoint. So later I will show you where to find uh, that particular button. So SharePoint is great for storing files in the cloud and making them accessible for both internal and external users of your organization or your school. So as an educator, you can take advantage of different features like file permission, management, um, document process flows, retention policies, and more. Now, there are two types of uh, SharePoint sites. So one is the Teams sites, and the other is the communication site. Now, the Teams sites are used to share information within a team. So say, for example, um, like what I've mentioned earlier, if your school has set up classes as a team, if you are using teams within your school, then you can use the SharePoint site to share information for your class. Okay, So this is everyone who is a part of that team or that class will be able to access the files, the folders, um, and everything that you uh, put inside your team's site. Okay, Now, the second type of SharePoint or the communication site, these are used to widely announce information such as a school homepage. So this is more of a broader uh, site naman po. So if Teams site is available for your classes, ito naman communication site is more for your uh, school. So it can be like uh, the a digital uh, bulletin board for your school. So diba usually sa bulletin board doon natin uh, pinopost yung mga announcement, yung mga events for the school. So uh, this that is one type of SharePoint that you can use in your organization. Okay. So let's um, go back to the relationship between SharePoint and Teams. So like I've mentioned earlier, every team creates its own SharePoint site where all the documents are stored. So see, for example, the title of your team or the name of your team is Team 1. Then the URL for the SharePoint uh, page or SharePoint site for your team is your domain slash sites slash Team 1. And then under that, you will have different channels. So if you have a general channel, okay, the URL for that is the domain name slash sites slash team one, the team where the channel belongs, then slash shared documents slash general or the name of the channel. So that goes for the other channels that you will have if you have multiple channels within your team. Okay. So each channel that you create, it will also create folders within the site's document library. Now, you as the owner of that team, you can set permissions so that certain users can see certain files or libraries while others don't see them at all. So you can either just choose which files or which folders a certain um, person or a certain member of your organization can see. Okay? Or uh, you can also set permission if you would like only another different set of group to see that particular file. Okay? So say, for example, if a file is only for the teachers, then you can create a user group of only teachers and then set the permission so that only that group can see the file. So you can also do the same for your class. If gusto po ninyo na yung class nyo lang uh, makaka-access ng file or ng folder, then you set a or you create a user group of your students or of the class and then set the permission that only that class can see your file or your folders. Okay. Now, in Teams, 
you can add SharePoint pages and lists as tabs so that your class can easily access the class homepage. Yeah. So let me go to an actual uh, SharePoint uh, site and a Teams site so you can um, have a clearer picture of what I just mentioned. Okay, so let me just share a different screen. So here is a Teams for Education. So just a very, very quick overview of what you can see in Teams. So we have here on the left side, the navigation bar for Teams. So you have here the activity or the notification. So very similar to a social media account Now you have notification of your mentions, um, kung may nag-reply ba sa sinunhin yung message, or something like that. And then the next tab is the chat tab. So this is where you can have private conversation, either one-on-one -on -one or group conversations, um, not just within your organization, but also to users of teams outside your organization. You just need to know their um, username for teams, and then you'll be able to send them a message. Okay. Next would be the Teams or the groups within Microsoft Teams. So in this uh, login or in this demo account, um, these are the different teams that I belong to. Now, these are not the only teams available in my school or in my organization, but since these are the only teams that I am a part of, these are the teams that will show on my screen. So pag hindi po kayo part ng team, hindi nyo po makikita doon sa screen niyo. So for me, I am a part of the Pineview School staff, the Science Department, Language Arts, Algebra, Physical Science, Fourth Grade, Health Research, Primary K3, Engineering 101, Design Research Group, and Women in Computer Science. Okay. So the next tab is the Assignments tab. Okay. So this is where you can uh, set up or assign different homework or projects for your class. Also here in Assignments is where you can provide different assessments using Microsoft Forms or even the latest application for Microsoft Teams, which is the reading progress. So dito nyo po yun pwedeng i-assign sa inyong mga estudyante. So here, you can see different um, assignments or homeworks for uh, the different classes or the different teams that I am in. So here, we have the Olympic Games in the fourth grade, uh, may strawberry jam, may midterms for physical science. And on the right side, you will be able to see here kung ilan out of all the students have uh, turned in their assignments. Okay, next view, we have here the calendar. And so this is where you can see your schedule of meetings or schedule of classes with your students. And then the next tab is the call tab. So this is where you can also um, call your students or your fellow teachers within your organization or again outside the organization. Okay, so going back to SharePoint, how can you see SharePoint within Teams? So, what is their relationship with each other? So, say for example, let's go to the Pineview School staff team. Okay, so when you go inside the team, in the upper right corner in the ellipsis or the three dots, just click on that and here you will be able to see open in SharePoint. So when you click that and you open it in SharePoint, so you will see here the library of documents that has been shared inside the Pineview School staff team. 
So here, so this is the document library. Now, if you want to go to the team site for Pineview School staff, just click on the logo here or the avatar. And then you will see the main site for this team. Okay. So as mentioned earlier, the URL or the site name for your teams or for the SharePoint for this particular team would be the uh, domain dot sharepoint dot com slash sites slash the name of the team which is Pineview School Staff. Okay. So here are the different um, parts of the SharePoint uh, site. Okay, so you have here important links. You have here events, the documents. Okay, and you can have here different um videos or images or powerpoint presentation that you want to share within your team okay. and then here are different banners okay, announcements and even the team directory so you know or your um school knows who are the members of this um, specific team okay. Yeah. So SharePoint provides more than 40 out of the box web parts, which can be placed on the page. So like you have seen earlier, you can add text, you can add images, you can add maps even, um, uh, quickly, Michelle, files. Well. Yes, yeah. Ay, paano lang ako, miss, kasi yung uh, presentation po natin naka... Ano ah, naka ano? Naka, oh, yes. Naka entire... Uh, uh, exit mo na po ulit yan. Thank you, miss. So, while uh, Miss Michelle is going back to her presentation, may, we ask if there are questions in the chat so far from our audience. Wala pa naman. Okay. So, bago pumunta sa, uh, sa meet talaga si Miss Michelle, no? Sa ating presentation. Okay. Pero Miss Michelle, bago siguro, bago, while you're um, doing your uh, presentation once again, um, so si SharePoint essentially miss is our in, in a way is uh, our teacher's way of sharing files within the um, Microsoft Office system parang ganun. Yes. Tama po ba yung yes okay. But at the same time it's also a way to to build like resources like mga websites tama po ba yung pagkaka uh, un understand po namin sa ano so far. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So for um the SharePoint site it is where it's like a repository of your resources within your class. It can be within your class. It can be within your department. It can also be within your school. So, uh, para hindi na kayo mahihirapan to look for uh, your different resources. No, um, on my experience, minsan talagang nahihirapan ako maghanap ng mga files ko within one drive. Uh, those Yo, that I want I to share with. Um, the other members of my team. So instead of sa one drive mo pa siya is a save, which is um, a personal uh, space for you, you can already create your files and folders that are meant for sharing doon na sa SharePoint so that wow. everybody already has access to it. Kasi yes, yes. If, um, kung lahat, even for those that you want to share, is andun sa one drive mo, medyo uh, mahihira ang hirap po talaga maghanap ng files lalo na kung marami kayong files and for teachers uh, marami kayong class different you belong to different classes you belong to different groups so at least mas madadalian na po kayo to um, locate your resources as well as si students kasi syempre with in one semester or in one a school year, marami din po siyang iba't ibang classes, di ba? I think it's a minimum of eight, if I'm not mistaken. So, para sa estudyante, mas madali na rin silang maghanap ng resources for them to view, review, and even submit um, their projects through the SharePoint site. 
Ayan. Actually, yun nga yung tas nangyay ko sana miss kan- kanina. Ano, ano nga bang difference ni SharePoint tsaka ni OneDrive? Parang parehas kasi mm-hmm. siya about sharing files. Yeah. So again, no, si, si OneDrive is if it's like a whole repository of your files. Pero if you want to yeah. organize, sabi nga ni Miss Marilyn Onkiko sa chat natin ngayon, Miss, uh, Miss Michelle, no, mas organize nga po yan. Okay, so it's a way to organize your files for intended for sharing, no Miss, Miss yes. Michelle. Okay. So yan, ito na po Miss Michelle, ang inyong presentation is already on the, the screen po. Okay? Thank you, Ms. Michelle. Okay. Yes, yeah, so like I have mentioned kanina, there are 40 um, out-of-the-box web parts that you can use to create your SharePoint site. No, So you can put text, images, you can put folders and files, um, videos, maps, and even uh, put different links of other resources. Kunyari, meron kayong YouTube um, link that you want to share. Say, say, for example, merong tutorial na ginawa si Sir Franco that you want to share to your class, then you can just uh, put the link of the YouTube uh, video to your SharePoint site. So again, SharePoint has two types of sites. So one is the Teams uh, team site and the other is the communication site. Okay? So let's go to the team site. There are two types, again, of a team site. So one is the class homepage, and the other one is the staff homepage. So as, um, well, the SharePoint team site connects teachers or the educators and their team to the content, information, and apps that you use every day. So for example, you can use a team site, um, like I've mentioned earlier, to store and collaborate on files for uh, sharing for your class, okay? And then on the homepage, you can view links uh, to important team files, apps, and even web pages and see recent site activity in the activity feed. So, kunyari, may bagong nag-share ng um, resources or may student na nag-submit ng, uh, nag-upload ng file doon sa a team site ninyo, then you will have an activity team, parang notification sa ating mga social media accounts. Okay. So, you can either do it for your class or for the staff homepage. Because what we have seen earlier dun sa uh, pinakita ko, it's a fine view uh, staff site. So, it is more of a uh, a team or a group for the different educators or for the staff within your organization as compared to a class homepage, which is specifically for your class. Naman. Okay. So what can you do in your class or in your staff homepage? So from all that 40 web parts, what can you do? Okay. So one, you can introduce your class and welcome students. Okay. You can make important documents easy to find. So you can provide quick access to essential class materials. You can provide links to resources. You can keep everyone up to date on events. So you can display upcoming events to help students stay prepared. No? Say, for example, you have um, a quiz B or a math uh, science week an English week, and there are different activities, then you can post the those events on your class site para naman si student. And on their end, pati si parents, they would also be able to see, easily find, kung ano yung mga upcoming events in your school or in your class. Okay. Next, we have share news and announcements. So it keeps the students informed with news related to the class. Kung may pasok ba, walang pasok, mag exam na ba sila, or may field trip ba sila, or what not. And you can also use videos to enhance learning. So here, you can share relevant video content to engage your class and accommodate different learning styles. So we all know naman that there are uh, students who are more visual learners. So kailangan po talaga may nakikita sila versus nagbabasa lang sila. And then lastly, you can also share about yourself. So here, 
uh, well, this is optional. You can tell your students about your interest, your background, um, and also how best to contact you. This is also good for your uh, for the parents of your students para at least they have an idea on uh, the background of the teacher and also how to contact you if in case they have any questions in your class um, pertaining to the student or how they are doing. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to how to create a class homepage. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to SharePoint. Okay, so here, ayan, tama na pala yun. Okay, so let's go back to the Teams site. So let's go to an actual class. So let's say, for example, my algebra class. So I'll just go to uh, the general channel and then open in SharePoint. Okay, so here, again, just click on the avatar. And you will be able to go to the home site. Okay, so this is where you can edit your uh, class um, site. Okay, just click on edit. You can even set the different um, things for your class site on the settings button up on the right corner. And so you can change the performance. So you can set different um, things for the header. I'm sorry, the, the look pala. Okay, let me just go back to. So you will have themes where you can change the different colors. And then you can even customize from these uh, themes. So kanyari, it's more, this is the color that you choose. You can even customize it some more to change uh, the colors, the main color and the accent color. You just click on save. Okay. And then you can just continue on customizing until you have found the, you know, the best view or the view that's uh, more comfortable for you. So these are the layout for the header dito sa taas. You can be extended, you can be compact, uh, standard, or even minimal. And then you can set the different um, backgrounds and the fonts. Okay, so let's just choose that one. Okay. So here is your class site. Now you can click edit here so that you can rearrange the uh, format of your site. So maybe you want to add uh, something here. So what I have here is the welcome banner. I have here the document library, quick links, uh, the calendar or the important events, class announcements, and about uh, the teacher. Now I can add more sections. Okay, so you just click on the left uh, side on the plus sign. So you can choose another section, either a one column, two columns, three, and one third left, one third right. So let's choose this one. So once you have uh, chosen the section that you want to add, then you can just go inside the section and hover on the top uh, most part of that section. And then you can click on the X button. So you can choose what type of um, web part that you want to add within your within the section that you have added. So here, say for example, I want to add uh, news. 
Okay. And then on this side, I would like to add a YouTube feed. Okay, so you can add the video here. You can embed the codes so that the video will be available on the site already. Okay. Yeah. So you can also change their uh, places. So hindi lang kayo uh, basta-basta mag-add or hindi lang add and delete. But you can also move these sections. Okay, you can uh, put them. Kanyari, yung events gusto mo nasa ibabaw or nasa ibang part ng section. Yeah. Choose to put it on this section. Gusto mo pagpalitin to kasi medyo nalilito si student when they are looking at the site. So, lipat mo siya dito. Tapos dito naman, ililipat mo dito. Ayan. Okay. So, there are a lot of different ways for you to be able to customize your site depending on how you want your um, site to look like. Okay. And then once you're done, sa tingin nyo is okay na yung school, uh, I mean the class site for you, then you can just click on republish so that uh, the people who already have access to your site will be able to see the changes that you have made to the class site. And then here on the left side or on the navigation pane, you can also edit what are the things or what are the areas that your students can see within or from Teams. Okay? So we have here the class notebook, the class materials, and the home page. Okay? You can also add more uh, sites to the navigation bar for your class site. So you just need to indicate here for links. You can put here the URL, okay? Or if you have conversations for within your Teams or the calendar or a planner, and you can add it here as well, okay? So that's how you create your uh, class site. And similar to how you create your class site, that's also how you can create the school site naman, which um, I will mention in detail later on. Mm -hmm. okay, let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so uh, yung kanina po is the uh, team site. So this time, we will be discussing about the communication site. So this is, um, this serves as an internal homepage for your school intranet. So this is only available within your organization. So before, SharePoint has a public uh, site that other uh, external users can view, but they have it has already been decommissioned. So um, right now, all of the sites are for internal purposes already. So it's uh, your school intranet. So it is the place where your students and the teachers can stay up to date on the events, the news, and um, this is where they can access school resources and more. So. Like I've mentioned earlier, this is like your school's uh, digital bulletin board. Okay. So what can you do in your school homepage? So kanina, I've shown you what you can do with your team site. So this one, 
This is what you can do in the communication site or in your school homepage. So one, you can showcase the school colors. You can use site branding and use your own logos to inspire school spirit. Then you can also showcase the school mission para naman hindi nakakalimutan ng ating uh, teachers and the students what the mission, vision of the school. Yan. So you can highlight um, the mission, vision, and values and also share initiatives to increase impact to the community. And then you can use imagery to highlight important information. So you can use eye-catching images linking to the most important resources. So there are, again, some who are visual learners. So mas madali nilang naiintindihan using images rather than using text. And then also here, you can share resources. Okay? Um, you can share resources for learners. You can share resources for educators, and you can also share resources for your staff. And here, you can communicate a message. You can highlight timely messages to the learners and the educators. So, kung meron kayong, um, say for example, may message si mayor sa inyong school, then you can also highlight it here, as well as spread the news by creating broad awareness about school announcements, school initiatives, and different achievements for the school. Say, for example, nanalo kayo sa, um, you are the champion of a particular, um, either an inter-school frisbee, or anything as simple as an inter-school activity. You can announce it here. And then keep everyone up to date with the events of the school. So here you can add a calendar to keep the learners, the educators, the staff, and the parents up to date on your school events. And then you can also share supplemental information um, about the school, the leadership, contact information, and other information. Yeah. Okay, so yung pag-create lang po ng school homepage is very similar to your experience in creating your team site. So doon po, you will be able to um, see yung pinaka, uh, same lang din po yung pinaka format on how you will create it. You just need to um, customize the header the different themes uh, put in the calendar or and the different uh, web parts within your school homepage. Okay. And so next, uh, let us move on to uh, SharePoint list. So this is also accessible within the SharePoint site. So it is an application that helps you track information and organize and manage the work for your organization. So it helps you optimize your productivity and save time by managing your information closely. So you can create lists for different types of uh, activities or different types of tasks. Um, you can create a list for your staff of the things or information that your staff needs to know. Or you can also create uh, lists for your class, uh, maybe like a point, like pointers to review, okay? Or list the topics or activities in your class for the semester. So what you can see on the screen, this is one of the lists uh, created for one of the classes, uh, Calc One class, okay? So you can see here under item is the activity. So we have Chapter One reading. So you can organize it by categories. Uh, say, for example, you want to make sure that in your class, you have a balanced set of activities. Hindi lahat puro reading, hindi lahat puro quiz. But you also have other activities that you want to use in your class. Then you will be able to easily identify, ah, 
ang dami ko na palang reading material. Kailangan magdagdag naman ako ng project. Ayan. So, by having it color-coded, you will be able to identify those information easily. And then you can set a due date para naman hindi uh, makalimutan ng students kung kailan and wala na silang reason to miss the deadline because it is already part of the list of your class. Okay? And then attachments. You can attach different files or folders that you want to include um, in that particular activity. So say, for example, for chapter one reading, um, instead of a book, you can uh, maybe attach your modules if you have them available uh, para hindi na isa-isang i-distribute or isa-isang i-print yung kopya ng um, inyong reading materials. Okay? And then you can add other details or remarks. And then you can add more columns. You can add as many columns as you want, um, as many categories that you would do. Okay. So let us create a um, list for your class. So let's go to... Let me stop the presentation again and go to an actual... Okay, so say for example, I'm inside uh, the algebra uh, class, or let's go to the Pine View staff uh, teams. Okay. So here on top of the site just click on new click on list and then you have here different options that you can choose from to create your list you can start from a blank list you can import from excel you can import from an existing list okay or you can use any of the templates available depending on uh, what you want to do within your list so I'll use a blank list. So say, for example, in a uh, foundation day. Ayan. Kunwari, kayo yung head ng committee um, ng foundation day. So let's do uh, the name of my list, foundation day activities. So just click on create. And then it now creates your um, SharePoint list. So here, you can add different columns for your list. So say, for example, uh, the title is the actual activity that you want for the foundation day. And then you can add another column. And then you can choose what type of column that is. So here, since this is going to be a collaborative list, I will choose the person and I will name this column assign to so that I know who the person is that I need to um, talk to when I want to know updates about that activity. So let's save and then you can add another column. This could be uh, multiple lines of text. So these are the action items that this person or this group will do under this particular activity. And then next, I want to add a deadline for them to complete yung um, tasks for this one. So do I want to include time? No. So date lang siya. So let's click on save. And then I want to know whether nasimulan na yung task na ito, ongoing ba siya, or tapos na siya. So I want to add a column. And I will choose choice. So let's put here the name of the column is the status. So for choice one, I will put here not started. And then for choice two, I'll put on going. And then choice 
three um, from X. So I can change the color combination of the different choices. So uh, I want this to be highlighted in red. And see si ongoing, since ongoing pa siya, maybe I'll put blue. And then see si completed. Well, dahil completed na siya, I will use green. Then, input save. And then you can add as many other columns as you want. So maybe let's put remarks. Maybe meron silang mga opportunities when it comes to doing this activity. Okay, so to create the different um, items inside your list, just click on new. Okay. So title, let's say um, program. So you are the program committee. And I will assign this to one of the teachers. So Sines Cara Coleman. And you can assign it to multiple people uh, if it is a group. So kunyari si Cara. And then I'll also assign it to uh, Roel. So in the assigned to uh, portion, since I did not click a group um, earlier, then individual lang yung pwede ninyong ilagay dito. So it's either um, Roel or if I add another name, it's just that person. So let's use Cara for the name tag. Cara for me. And then action items. Uh, what does Cara Coleman need to complete? So one is create a okay. uh, program, identify uh, the speakers, and uh, identify the games, and then choose the prices. Okay. And then the due date for this uh, particular task, I will give Kara until next week. And then you can just click on save. Okay. Since this is under the Fine View School staff and a SharePoint, anyone within this team who are given or anyone that has been given access can also write on this um, list. So kunyari ako na si Kara Coleman. Then I can put in the status kung nasimulan ko na ba siya. Then I can just put here ongoing and then click on save. Okay. So once you click on that, you can just close the window and then it will automatically show there. Now, say for example, uh, you want to share this to a group of students. Since hindi naman sila kasama dun sa Pine View uh, school staff team. Diba? So you can just click on share. And then identify the name or the group that you want to share this with. So um, here, these are all the educators and the staff that are members of Pine View School. Now I can add students, say for example, I want to add Adele. Uh, she is the um, head of our student body for the student council. So she is president. So I want to involve her in the creation of, or in the activities for planning the foundation day. So I'll just um, click send. So I can send it through Outlook or I can simply click on copy. Okay. Assign um, the people who will have access to the list and then just send the link to that person so that once they click on that link, they will be automatically uh, forwarded to SharePoint lists under the Pine View School staff. 
So that's how easy it is to be able to collaborate with your um, other members of the school. It can be either other members of the staff, it can be teachers, and it can be students as well. So you have the control whether you want to um, allow a certain person access to your files and your folders that are already shared to another group. You can add specific people. So I already added Adele Van. So just click on apply to create a shareable link. Click copy and then um, you just share that link to Adele or to the member of your organization. Okay. So that's how you can create um, a list to help you in terms of um, not just collaborating, but also making your school activities, uh, planning them easier, uh, implementing them easier, and uh, you know less hassle, less stress po sa inyong lahat. You can do this whether you are in the same uh, classroom, kung face-to-face man kayo, or when you are in your own home. So, si student, kunyari, meron siyang gustong um, i-contribute doon sa list, then they can just easily add on their own. They can use any devices. They can use a laptop, a desktop, a tablet, and even a mobile phone. They can access Microsoft lists. Okay? So, anytime, anywhere, as long as they have internet connection, then they will be able to um, use Microsoft lists to help them in their activities and in their classes. Yeah. So, in your class, when you create pointers to review, then the students can easily access that um, list for them to be able to know kung ano yung mga kailangan na i-review nila for their uh, third grading, fourth grading, or whatnot. Okay. So yun po si SharePoint list. So next, we will go to the distribution, or sorry, the document library. Let's Okay, so before I move on to the document libraries, um, also, your students can create lists on their own. Okay, so if they have their own group projects, then pwede rin nilang gamitin yung list so that they can also organize uh, their uh, classmates into creating their project. So you, as the teacher, you will be able to see kung sino yung may mga roles or tasks within their project. So you can, it will also help you in terms of kung paano nyo gagrade yung mga students niyo. So you can see um, if they're really doing their share in the project. Okay. And also, um, see Microsoft List, you can use it alongside Microsoft Forms. Um, you can use it for, say, for example, your school registration. You can use Power Automate. Um, to automatically capture the uh, the submitted forms and create or send the details to a list already so that you have a view kung sino na yung mga nag-register sa school. Okay? Yeah. So that is Microsoft um, SharePoint list. Okay, so next. Um, the document library. So, nadaanan natin kanina yung document library while showing you what SharePoint looks like. Okay? So, tulad ng discussion kanina with Sir Franco, 
if you're working on a file by yourself, then you can just save it to OneDrive. And then if you want to share that file, then you can just um, share and change the different access to your OneDrive file. But if your file is really meant for sharing, then might as well uh, create it inside your uh, document library so that um, your team can already start working with you in that particular document. Okay? So you can add, edit, or uh, delete a file, a folder, or even a link from a uh, SharePoint library. You can co-author, you can uh, download documents that are shared in the library as well. So as the owner of that document library, you control who will have access to the files and the contents of the document library. Okay. And then you can also track the activity on a file. Um, you can see who or when it was last modified. And you can also receive notification when something has changed in the file. So para Say, for example, one of your students or one of your co-teachers um, accidentally erased something and hindi nila napansin, hindi na nila naibalik, you will have um, notification na may changes na nangyari doon sa file mo. Okay? And then you can also add different links to your document library. So say, for example, it is stored in another document library because you have several teams and one of the document is already shared in one of the libraries that you own then you can just um, use the link so that you can share it to or save it to another um, library then so this will help you save space in your storage because hindi nyo na siya store ng paulit-ulit or hindi nyo siya share uh, ng paulit-ulit. Pero yung link na lang to the original file ang isashare nyo. Okay? And then also you can highlight a link um, or a file or a folder in the document library so that um, you and others can get to them with me. Okay. So let me show you again the document library inside SharePoint. And okay, so when you go to your uh, class, and you can add a class. Okay. Yeah. So here is your document library where you can see all the documents within your class. And if you click on see all, then it will open up your in your mga documents available within that class. Mm -hmm. Okay. So say for example, you want to add um, another you want to add to the document library okay so you can just create say for example class uh, well there's already class materials here uh, new sources okay so these are just different resources that you want your class to be able to access to help them or guide them in their existing um, uh, subjects. Okay. Yeah. So you can click um, new. So you can start from scratch. Okay. You can add either a Word document, an Excel, 
or PowerPoint presentation, a OneNote a notebook forms, or even visual. Yeah. And then if you want just links, then you can just click on the link. But if you already have created uh, the document and it's saved in your, either in your device or in your OneDrive, then just click on upload. And then you'll be able to upload either just a file or the folder within your um, document library. So, dito na po siya magsis. Okay, let's see. Let's try to share. Um, so, let's say, for example, I want to share a syllabus to the class. Okay. Ayan. So, nandito na yung syllabus. So, I... Uh, just a disclaimer, this syllabus I have just downloaded online. Hindi po ako yung nag-create itong syllabus na to. So I just use it to uh, show how you can um, upload, download, and share files within a SharePoint OneDrive. So here, uh, you can share it to other members if they're not a part of the algebra uh, team yet. Okay, and you can choose who are the people or who are the members that can access this file. Okay. So just click on copy and then share the link to those uh, members, either internal or external, that you want to have access to the resources or just this particular file inside your document library. Amen. So that's for the document library inside uh, SharePoint. Amen. So Today, we have uh, shown you how to, uh, the relationship between SharePoint and Teams. You have seen uh, the two types of uh, SharePoint sites. Uh, you've also seen how to create and how to customize uh, the team site and the school homepage. And you also have seen how to create a SharePoint list and how to create your document library. So what is the importance of uh, SharePoint for you as an educator? So why should you use it in your class or why should you use SharePoint in your school? So number one, okay, you will have centralized administration. So you will just manage the information from one hub saving you time in setting up your class or setting up information for your school. Number two, it is already consolidated. So you um, and your students and even the parents can see all the details, the information, the files, etc., whatever they need in your class in just one hub. Hindi na sila maghahanap pa sa iba ibang uh, resources hindi na nila kailangan hanapin sa notebook nila or kung saan notes ba nila na isulat because it will already be accessible in just one hub which is your SharePoint site. Okay. Number three, which is security and integrity. So SharePoint is, um, since it is from Microsoft, no, you have the power to provide uh, the access to the people you want to give access to your files to. Okay? So, hindi siya basta-basta ma-open ng um, members of your school if you do not grant them access. Okay? Next is content management. So, it is very easily uh, customizable, right? You can easily manage the contents. So, it's just as simple as drag and drop for customizing the uh, look and feel of your team site. 
and then ease of use. It is very simple and it is cloud-based. So there's no need for you to download anything to your devices. And again, you can access uh, SharePoint in any of your devices in any of your browser. So you can use uh, Safari, you can use Microsoft Edge, you can use Google Chrome, okay? You can use either a desktop, a laptop, a tablet, and a mobile phone, and you will still be able to access and see the same thing. And then you also have here collaboration. So you can work with your students and the rest of the staff wherever you are. Kunyari, you are either at home and your student um, has a bright idea in one of your activities and nasa bahay din naman siya. And she, they can just easily share uh, those information and those ideas within your SharePoint so that uh, hindi na nila makakalimutan kasi sometimes ang tendency, pag naisip natin yung sa gabi, and then come the following day na mag-meet kayo or during your class is nakalimutan na siya either ng student or kayo mismo as the teacher. Nakalimutan niyo na yung gusto ninyong sabihin yung sa inyong class. At least, anytime, any day, you can already add to your SharePoint site because you can easily provide access to anyone and you can access it anywhere. Okay? So that's um, that's it for SharePoint. Okay, uh, you can contact us. Uh, you can view our site www.redenta.com. You can visit us in any of our social media sites as well. We are available in, or you can see us in Facebook, in Instagram, uh, and also in TikTok. We have an account in TikTok, so just look for us at Redenta. Okay. And uh, also, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Okay, thank you so much, teachers. Uh, Sir Franco? Thank you, maraming maraming salamat, no, Miss Mitch, for, uh, Miss Michelle, no, for taking us on understanding better, and of course, how to use and uh, what what are the benefits in using uh, SharePoint? Napakadaming benefits, no? Tsaka, kitang-kita mo talaga yung impact niya if educators can um, can really just optimize and use this tool, no? So, teachers, no? Huwag natin sayangin kasi sayang, nasasayang siya kapag yun natin siya ginagamit, no? It's, it's accessible lahat po ng mga DepEd uh, teachers natin. Merong uh, Office 365. So, something, something to really look at, no? no? It will change you. Know, my wife, by the way, Ms. Michelle, is also an avid user of uh, SharePoint no yung talagang ginagamit niya to organize her files, to share her files with her students and it works wonders for her no as an educator. Hindi mas nakabawas po ng stress no both for the teachers and for the students sa paghahanap ng mga files teachers. Na siguro Miss Michelle pati sa mga teams no yung mga department no I think it's time that you create like a department um site no for uh, in SharePoint para like yung mga uh, meets of the meeting, mga templates ng lesson plans, okay. mga templates ng uh, worksheets nandoon na magkakasama na at hindi na kung saan-saan pa hinahanap sa ating OneDrive. Okay. Okay. That's correct. Yes. Uh, so Miss Michelle, uh, we will now uh, have our uh, open forum now. So teachers, if you have questions, please uh, do uh, let us know no in the chat. Meron na kagad isang tanong dito from Miss Marilyn, Marilyn Ong Kiko. Okay, sabi niya, uh, if sa admin account po ang gagamit, di naman po ba magkakaroon ng storage issue if madami na pong naka-shared files? For your own accounts, um, you will have your own storage. Kumbaga, so uh, hindi naman na siya magiging issue if marami na pong uh, shared files. Kasi uh, for us, say for example, in our... A company in our organization, we are also uh, very heavy in using SharePoint and Teams. So, marami na rin po kaming mga files na na-share. And so far, um, we haven't encountered any issues or we haven't uh, hindi pa po namin kinakailangan magdagdag ng storage. We've been using um, Teams and SharePoint for uh, more than three years already. And there are like 50 of us in the organization. 
Uh, miss, um, follow-up question ako dyan, ano? Uh, kasi syempre, interested din talaga matuto, ano, sa, sa SharePoint. Una-una, Miss Michelle, is yung bang mga files natin sa SharePoint, um, where can it come from? Kailangan ba nasa OneDrive muna siya bago mo siya malagay sa SharePoint, okay? Or can you actually do like a direct upload from your devices um, papunta sa SharePoint niyo, Miss? Yep. You can um, upload from your device or any cloud storage that you have. It doesn't actually even have to be just one drive. No? So any um, once you have what do you call this integrated your files from your own storage because you can actually add that depending on the permissions or the settings of your organization. Pwede kasi i-add yung uh, ibang storage, not just one drive, to your team. So once it's um, already integrated, then you can even upload uh, straight from that uh, storage, uh, cloud storage. Then, and then, like you mentioned, even in your own devices, uh, pwede nyo siyang i-upload. Thank you, Ms. Michelle. No? Follow-up question, Ms. Michelle. So, kasi dun sa mga cloud um, files natin, okay, wala nang problema yun kasi definitely will not take uh, ano, no, uh, the storage of that is in that particular cloud storage. So kung gumagamit ka ng OneDrive, nandun pa rin naman yung storage no, no? or kung gumagamit ka ng uh, ibang clou- uh, cloud storage. Pero once mag-upload ka ng file from your device, Ms. Michelle, where will that uh, take into account? Nag- nababawas ba yan sa OneDrive um, uh, storage allocation mo or where is it uh, being deducted from? Um, it's um, well for each user because you will have your own one terabyte uh, account storage. Okay. So uh, for the site that you have created, it's shared or it's going to roll under your uh, one drive storage. Mm-hmm. Pero yung one terabyte naman po is uh, it's a uh, huge storage already uh, that I'm sure hindi naman siya basta-basta mapupuno. And uh, the good thing about SharePoint is that pwede yung link lang ang i-upload mo. Yes, so correct. So that, kunyari, nakasave na siya doon sa iyo personally sa uh, OneDrive folder mo. And instead of i-upload mo yung the same file in your SharePoint site, is yung link na lang ang i-upload mo. So that it doesn't really take up a lot of the space. Okay, maraming maraming salamat, no? Uh, yan, teachers, no? Again, teachers, one terabyte yan, ha? Hindi yan basta-basta na uubos, katulad ng pasensya natin or ating payslip, no? Pero, <laughs> so, pero ingat pa rin po tayo, teachers, no? Mag, mag-save pa rin po tayo ng storage natin. Pag pwede mag-declutter um, ng ating OneDrive, mag-declutter po tayo ng ating OneDrive, okay? Um, there's a, another question, Miss Michelle, from this one. Okay, I think this is very important, no? Kasi about security and safety, no? Uh, this is from uh, teacher uh, Jesus Katangi. What should be the limitations when members do not belong to the same organization? Uh, some are using, for example, Google Accounts. Um, well, for the permission naman po kasi, it's going to be you who will set um, the permission to that person. No? So you can either set uh, the permission to for them to be able to edit the file or to just simply view the file. So mababasa nila pero hindi nila ma-edit and there are also other different um, permissions or different settings that you can do pwede kang mag-set ng expiry date kung hanggang kailan lang nila pwedeng mabuksan yung file or you can also even add a password to the file so kung sino lang yung may mga password uh, then sila lang yung makaka-access ng file so these are layers on top of uh, each other in terms of the security for SharePoint. Napakadaming, ano, walang ligtas, no? Parang, yes. parang mahirap ako wrap at <laughs> ma-access ng unnecessarily, no? So I think that's really, really nice, especially for educators, no, na nag- minsan nag-share ng mga sensitive files, ng mga department files, no? Mamaya, bigyan ma- mag-leak yung mga exams, etc. Yes. Napakaganda ng SharePoint for that, no? Okay? Um, uh, wala na po ako nakikita ang question na no, Miss Michelle sa ating chat. No? Pero while we're waiting, baka nagka-type pa sila kasi mahabang magtanong yung mga community members namin nito, Miss Michelle. No? Is that I'd like to ask first uh, on 
access point. No? Kanina na mention nyo po na across devices na access natin to, itong SharePoint. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang mobile app na pwedeng i-download. Tama po ba ko, Miss? Um, for SharePoint, uh, hindi siya app na downloadable, but you can open it in the web with inside ah, the browser po, okay. mobile. Okay, so pwede rin po siya ma-access ng mga uh, browser applications po natin. Okay? Second, miss, is that uh, when it, kasi laging tanong ng mga teachers na no, baka lang sila nahihiyang magtanong today, no? Kasi when it comes to like uh, access to internet connection, okay, um, connect connectivity is always a problem. So, is SharePoint only accessible via online or is there like um, um like an offline modality for this uh, platform? Uh, yes, it's also a it's online and offline mode. No? So if, say, for example, you want to access a specific uh, document, no? you can easily just download it in your, um, in your device. Kunyari, um, naka-save doon is a reading material. No? And then, pumunta ka sa isang area that has a good connection, then you download. And then you turn off your Wi-Fi or turn off your data. And then, uh, tsaka mo na i-browse through yung material that you have uh, downloaded. Now, if in case naman, uh, it's, uh, say for example, you want to add something to that particular file or that particular list, then you can easily um, just do so once you have already uh, turned on your data or turned on the Wi-Fi. It's a yan. Okay, so very, very flexible teachers. No, so I hope that you get to uh to uh ano, no, to explore um uh, more of SharePoint. Ngayon, uh, medyo mula na ng pasalamat, no, Miss Michelle. Wala na ako nakikita ang question sa ating chat. I think Miss Michelle na delivered a very uh clear, no, and also very uh interesting, of course, no, na, na session for us for all, for all of us today. Okay, so teachers, okay, kung wala na po tayong questions, no, let us now uh send our our thanks to um to Miss Michelle, no, in the chat para po maramdaman niya yung ating pagmamahal, no, and of course, appreciation, okay, uh, for her time, for her expertise, no, and for being here. And of course, Miss Michelle, ayaw rin namin ano, no, na alis po kayo na without us, no, presenting uh to you our uh, certificate of appreciation no just kahit po itong simpleng bagay lang na to maramdaman niyo po yung aming um, pagkapasalamat para po sa inyo so let me uh, uh, present this okay? uh, this uh, uh, this uh, certificate of appreciation this uh, certificate of appreciation is respectfully awarded to, to Ms. Uh, Michelle Lasam for sharing her knowledge and expertise in the recently concluded webinar entitled Microsoft SharePoint okay. awarded on April 23 2022 um, to be signed by the administrators of Kaga Pai Teacher Support, um, Angelo B. Maliari, Joseph Angelo M. Santos, Paula May J. Mendoza, and Franco Nicolo P. Adon. Yours, yours truly po. No? So once again, Miss Michelle, maraming maraming salamat no, for being with us here. Ayan po, umuulan na ang um, pasasalamat sa inyo, Miss Michelle. No? And um, it's my pleasure. Yeah, Miss Michelle, siguro huling hirit lang no bago po namin kayo pakawalan and of course no for you to also enjoy your weekend no. And lang Miss uh, may we just request a short message for our teachers who are now by the way no Miss Michelle are transitioning back to um to an on off of on I don't know um on site uh, and face to face setup. Po. Okay. Um well, saludo talaga ako sa inyong mga teachers no. You're very flexible when it comes to helping the students uh, learn. So they are our workforce of tomorrow. So talagang um, thank you so much for giving all your effort and hopefully nakatulong po yung session natin today um, in uh, sharing or in using technology to further enhance your teaching skills. Um, sana po eh, uh, gamitin ninyo si Microsoft, uh, especially yung SharePoint, on hindi lang po during uh, the hybrid setup but even during your physical classes na rin because uh, this will help you save not just time but also your resources kasi alam naman natin na uh, when during face to face pag nagsasubmit ng papers uh, kailangan isa-isa tayong mag-grade ganyan or isa-isa natin i-check so we are going to need markers, we're going to need papers, we're going to have to print uh, resources, 
print materials, ganyan. So by using SharePoint and Microsoft in general, it will help you uh, save na din po in terms of buying those supplies. Yun. So uh, this is not just for uh, the educators, but it's also for the students and the parents um, so that they can also in turn save din naman instead of them buying papers and pens. Ayan. Eh, pwede na rin nilang basahin yung mga materials ninyo um, and matuto online even if you are already on a face-to-face -face, um, classes or face-to-face -face event. Yan, maraming salamat. Great reminder no, for our teachers na hindi kailangan pag bumalik tayo ng face-to-face, -face, yeah. ibabalik ulit natin yung ginagawa natin before. No? Alam, dami natin natutunan in the last two years of the pandemic school years. Dalhin po natin yon and ibalik po na. Ah, uh, let's redefine no, our uh, education. Maraming maraming salamat po ulit, Ms. Michelle. No, and thank you so much for spending your Saturday with us. No, and uh, we know how you're, how busy you are with Redenta no, uh, um, uh, Technologies as well. So we wish you all the luck as well, Ms. Michelle, as you lead uh, more training uh, sessions uh, here in the Philippines no, in the use of Microsoft uh, tools. Po. Maraming maraming salamat. So let's again, teachers, no, let's send our thanks uh, to Ms. Michelle. Thank you. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend, Miss Michelle. Yan, teachers, maraming maraming salamat and thank you once again uh, for joining us here uh, at our live session no, um, at uh, here at KTS. No, grabe kayo, teachers. No, grabe yung commitment nyo. No, uh, actually, sabi ko nga sobrang busy na mga teachers natin na ngayon. I'm not really expecting as many live viewers na ngayon, pero you're still here, you're still very actively participating in the chat. So thank you, thank you so much for always being with us. Now, para po sa mga mag, uh, team replay, of course, you're always welcome. No? Hindi naman kami nagbubura ng mga sessions or nagdi-delete ng mga sessions natin. So you can always, always go back to our sessions no? if you need to. Okay? So teachers, um, where before I show you no, our uh, session, our our evaluation link no, for today, let me just remind you of our last two sessions on uh, April series for the Microsoft series. On Thursday, we're going to have a discussion on Minecraft education. Wala pong, wala pong mawawala teachers because that is one of the defining tools no, ng Microsoft Office ngayon. Isa yan sa mga, uh, mga, ano, no, mga project babies ng, um, ng Microsoft uh, Philippines, no, yung pag-promote ng Minecraft education. So, wag kayong mawala. No? How can gamification redefine education, of course. And of course, we're going to cap off our April series, our Microsoft series, with a discussion on Microsoft Teams. Sa hindi pa po nakadiscovery ng Microsoft Teams, amazing, amazing learning management system from Microsoft Office 365. Huwag po kayo mawawala. And of course, patuloy pa rin po ang pagdidigay natin ng Microsoft Kits. Abangan po later on, magpo-post ako ng ating Microsoft Kits Alert Plus yung mga winners dun sa ating last na Microsoft Kids Alert uh, last time. No? Ipopost ko na rin po later this night, uh, tonight, no? yung mga winners for that. So, wag na wag po kayo mawa. And, but of course, teachers, no, bago tayo ng Microsoft Series on Thursday, meron tayong uh, session for Class Point on Monday. So, tuloy-tuloy po tayo. Monday, Thursday, Saturday. Punong-puno na naman ang next week natin. No? Siyempre, kasi bakit po natin pupunuin yan? Dahil magpapahinga po tayo ng... Uh, First two weeks ng May. Okay. Why? Because we would like to give you that. No? Kasi alam ko po magiging busy kayo sa election. So wala po tayong sessions on the first two weeks ng May po. No? Our May series will begin right after the election po. Okay? So uh, teachers, ito na ang ating um, evaluation link. Okay? Please um, do um, let me know if the link is working. That's going to be at https colon slash slash tinyurl.com slash kps ASP 5. Okay? Tingnan ko pa natin kung mag, uh, nag work okay? um, before I leave you with this evaluation, teachers, no? Okay? At mag ko na pala, no? Kapag hindi siya nag work okay? Um, so, teachers, no? Let's, uh, by the way, sa mga um, uh, nasa on-site na po natin ngayon, uh, on-site, face-to-face um, -face setup po natin ngayon, hopefully, you're all doing well and uh, you're all staying safe po, no? Okay? Working po according to Sir uh, Teacher Dennis and Teacher Christy. Mohamed. Okay, maraming maraming salamat po ulit, teachers. Okay, um, have a great Saturday. Have a great weekend. Okay, please stay negative no, from COVID-19, but please stay uh, positive in life. No? We'll see you on Monday for our Class Point webinar series. Okay, maraming salamat po, teachers.
Yeah. <laughs> 